to front right now with the 42. Oh, Whoa, trouble. Big, big, big trouble. crash. Danica Patrick and Joey Logano. Oh, and man. Eric Eric Holy spooly. Heavy, heavy damage there on Danica. The number 10 car has had a lot of history throughout NASCAR. Drivers like Ricky Rudd, Derek Cope, and Johnny Benson have got to compete with that number. Since 2013, Stuart Haas has owned that car. Over the years, Stuart Haas has already had a lot of ups and downs with the car. Starting with Danica Patrick in 2013 to Eric Armarola in 2018. This is Danica Patrick versus Eric Armarola. Danica Patrick was very hyped coming into the 2013 season where she would drive full-time in the Sprint Cup Series for the first time. Here are some of her notables. I don't know who else she's going to give some competition to this year on another award. I think that Sprint Cup Series most popular driver award with Dale Earnhardt Jr. pretty much has been a lot for the last few years. Patrick started on the pole for the nationwide race here last year and knocked the boss off the pole. Yes! 45.817, 196.4 miles an hour for Danica. That is a, that's a great lap, guys. Teammate, number 11, Denny Hamlin, and number 20, Matt Kenson. I haven't heard cheering like this at this racetrack since Dale Jr. took the lead at one time or another. This is a really, really big deal. We'll know in about a mile, can she become the first female to lead a lap in the Daytona 500? Hamlin coming hard on the inside now with Kenseth. Under green, fans to their feet, to the line. She's done it. Danica Patrick has led the Indy 500 and the Daytona 500. He does, one slap in Atlanta. in the air, the timeliest of wins for Casey Kane, who punches his ticket into the chase for the NASCAR and Sprint Cup. Danica Patrick became the first woman to get a pole award at Daytona in 2013. Along with that, the first lap led at Daytona and a top 10 finish in 8th place. Her best finish throughout her career with Stuart Haas is 6th at Atlanta Motor Speedway in 2014. Although she broke some records, she didn't live up to the hype. Here is what she is mainly known for. Something's wrong with Blaney, he's not going anywhere, back it up the whole field. Looked like oh, he did. And got contact. a bump there from Hartman. Oh, oh they, they got a turn. wreck. They got a wreck. Heavy impact to the inside wall by Danica. Back. Here's the replay. And let's see. Did Danica turn him? Wow. They just got all hooked together there. Yeah, I couldn't tell from that. Dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were just, it's hard to tell from that angle, but I mean, it, it, it's almost, you know, a little bit of a replay from the accident that we saw before. You come down in there, you see him on the inside right there. I, I think he looks like he gets turned. Got, she may have got hit. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's hard to tell whether she, yeah. but. You no, know, there's some damage on her. Well, it, there's some damage on her right rear bumper right there. But almost stacked the entire outside. Oh, oh around goes Kenzen. And up into Tony Stewart. And cars are in the wall hard. We see Carl Edwards there in the 99, Matt Kenseth in the 20. Danica hadn't hit anything, and then her her right front was hit by Ricky Stenhouse Jr. late in that crash. The bright yellow car, Kenseth, he's coming down because Brad Kozlowski slowed up. He was trying to get out of that lane, but like you said, the 22 of Logano was already there. Logano got there. Matt decided he was going to hook a left and dive low. Dale Jr. misses it on the inside. Stenhouse was
Stenhouse was in the first crash. I don't think he had any steering, Larry, when he got yeah, to Danica. To the wall, to the wall. All good. Yellow's out, yellow's out, yellow's out. Wave them off. Crash out of turn number four. A multi-car pileup. Eric Almarola, his car all turn up. That is Michael Waltrip, who will not win his third Daytona 500. David Gilliland's car is crashed. Almarola's gone straight to the garage with his number 43. Gilliland stuck in the mud and Danica Patrick. That it looked like the 33 car of uh, Brian Scott something and watch Danica right there. Man, that was a lick. Stand side here and you can't push over there. Even got him himself. He was, you know, it was not something that was intentional. He was just trying to push and help, but it actually even got AJ Allmendinger turned around as uh, also. Wow, look oh, at big Danica. impact by Danica into that inside wall. Heck of a lick. Oh boy, Stanley Steamer. Whoa, there's oh, and no. around she goes there we go. into oh, Kenseth. Man. Oh gosh, up in the Kenseth. air and into the wall, hard. Man, Kenseth. Man, I thought he was going to catch the catch fence back there. The way I it landed not, was. I am not believing it. Uh, he's fine, boy. He got the window net down right away out of frustration. The four car Harvick. Danica climbs out. Radio cord gets disconnected. And Kurt Talk Busch you. went over and over. Boyer McMurray. They're just, guys, I'm, I'm, not, I'm with Denny. And, and, you know, having been in these situations several times, there's no way you can race that way and make it. And for the sixth time in seven Talladega races, a pile up in the last eight laps. Look at Ryan Newman's wrecked race car. He's dropped the window net, assigned a safety cruise that he is okay. The 78 car, Kurt Busch, it is destroyed. Oh, and J.J. Yaley, Yaley on track for his second top 10 restrictor plate finish. And, and Danica, Danica Patrick, both torn up. Yeah, J.J. Yaley in that 36, he had actually The 31 contact. and the 10, there was definitely contact. Whether the 31 came up or the 10 was coming down, that's what makes this corner so difficult, Jeff, because what's the line? You can't follow the dotted line. What's the natural line of the cars into the corner? Yeah, Danica was expecting uh, Ryan Newman to go all the way down to, like, the left, put the left sides closer to the yellow line. She was protecting that spot, trying to, you know, arc in the corner. And, you know, it, just Ryan Newman thought, hey, you're not coming down that far. So Ryan Newman didn't do that on purpose, but... You know, ultimately, it looked like Ryan did not give her the room. See it right here. Just dead in the middle of turn four, the car just goes straight. That's probably what caused you know, Let's see what happens here with her. You're right here. Bam. <laughs> that first thing. Get low if you can. Low if you can. Back coming outside of you. You're good right there. Turn one up and into the wall hard. Wow. It's Danica Patrick. Well, you can hear a tire down here. Yeah, I was say, was that another tire? It sounds like it. She was in 19. She was running oh, yeah. 19. Get out. Yes. Get out. Wow. That's a hard lick. She sent some, some fire inside the cars while she's in a hurry here to get out of the race car. So in the bottom here. Underneath Casey Kane looks like Casey Whoa. went to go Casey just tuck yeah. in behind her and just misjudged it got into her right rear turned her into the wall hard impact man right down the straightaway here Woo. in the end with the five years with Stuart Haas Danica had 180 starts she had zero wins zero top fives seven top tens 27 DNFs an average finish of 23.8 and her best finish in the point standings was 24. In 2018, Eric Armarola would take over the number 10 ride. Ever since, he has been doing way better than I expected. Here are his notables. Here they come to the restart zone. Overtime presented by Credit One Bank. Green flag back in the air, two laps to go. And be watching for somebody to run out of fuel in this pack can cause a major problem up through the gears the 41 accelerating well 
Kurt Busch looking for the win. Clint Boyer running second. Almirola third on that outside. Big push coming from the outside. Both lines are organized. But Kurt Busch is going to stop that inside line. Here comes Almirola. Almirola on the outside. Look at that. Big push from Boyer to the 41. And now the runs out of gas now, Rick. It's going to be a huge wreck. The four is out of gas. How can the teammates still be running? Did he save enough fuel? The 41, 41 of the block. Kurt Busch blocks Almirola. Coming back to the white flag. You've got to know Eric Almirola is super hungry. He had so many chances to win races. Hadn't been at a full one off. If he can get some help from behind, he's going to be aggressive. One more time around. Will they have enough fuel? Their teammate ran out of gas. Into the wall. Met to Benedetto in the 32. And a big wreck behind him. Big wreck behind him. The caution won't come out if it will not affect the end of this race. We'll see if NASCAR will throw it. If they have to get to the drivers to make sure they're okay, they would throw a caution. But right now, they're still green. Look at that Stenhouse. Doesn't have any help. He's going to get up here and give a help, give a push to the 10, but he doesn't have any help behind him. Almirola. There he goes. Almirola moves to the outside. outside. The 41's out of gas. In 2018, with only 32 of the races complete out of the 36, Eric Almirola, with his first year with Stuart Haas, already has one win, three top fives, 14 top 10s, only two DNFs, and an average finish of 13.3. He is also currently in the round of eight, having a chance to win the championship this year. With it not even completing a whole season yet, he is murdering Danica Patrick's stats. With my judgment, Eric Amarola murders Danica Patrick. Thank you for watching.